How you doing? Hey, how are you? Wonderful. You find everything okay? Yeah, I just, my energy bill keeps going up. Winter, summer, doesn't matter. I, I think I, I need more insulation, but I don't know much about it. Understandable. The main thing with insulation is that your home should be insulated to a recommended R factor. Okay. Um, and this can be easily found on uh, actually energy.gov. Uh, there's a map on there that shows you where it's recommended for your particular climate. Okay. All right. Uh, great thing about what we carry here at the Home Depot is that the R factor, once you find it, is listed on, on each of the products depending upon where you actually want to uh, want to install it. And it should be relatively easy to decide what you need. Okay. Cool. All right. Great. You did mention, again, losing some, uh, losing some heat. Yeah. Uh, so let's start with your attic. Okay. Great. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So as heat rises, an under-insulated attic will actually allow the heat to go right out of your roof. So not only are you losing heat, but you're also sucking cold air in through your windows and doors, causing your house to be totally less efficient. Oh, okay. Well, how do I know if I have enough? A general rule of thumb is that if you can see the ceiling joist, you need to add more. And if you can't see the joist, then you need to make sure that you have 12 inches or more in the attic. Okay, good to know. Absolutely. Let me show you some options. Great. If you're going with the fiberglass option, there are three types for us to choose from rolled, pre-cut bats are blown in. Since we're talking about your attic, my suggestion would be for you to go with the rolled option as it's better for larger areas. The pre-cut bats are well suited for walls uh, which, because they come in eight foot lengths, which is a standard ceiling height. Uh, one thing to point out though, is that these come with or without a craft paper facing, which can be used for a moisture barrier. So if you're adding this to existing insulation, it's best to go with the unfaced. Okay. Um, so, if I'm doing this myself, is there, are there anything I need to know, any, any little tips as far as self-installation? Absolutely. So for best results, the additional layer should be laid perpendicular to the ceiling joints to stop compression of the first layer. Okay. Uh, this will also help you to cover up any gaps that you may have. All right. All right. Um, if you do have recessed lighting, be sure that you don't lay that on top of the can lights unless those lights are rated for contact from, with the insulation. Okay. Um, if indeed you do need to cut the existing insulation that you're laying, this can be easily done with a utility knife. Just make sure that you don't stuff it in because it'll decrease the effectiveness of the insulation. Okay. All right, uh, one last thing. Uh, just from a, uh, from a safety standpoint, when utilizing fiberglass, be sure to wear goggles, gloves, long pants, a long sleeve shirt, and even a dust mask. You don't want to expose any skin to the fiberglass. Yeah, sure, that makes sense. Now, um, tell me about the blown-in insulation. Sure. If you decide to go the blow-in route, you have a choice between cellulose, which is made from recycled paper products, or fiberglass. Loose field insulation can be added to existing insulation, and it's really, really good in order to get into tough spaces like attics or even crawl spaces. Uh, either route you go, you're gonna to need to use an insulation blowing machine, which can be rented in any tool rental center at the Home Depot. Okay, great to know. Now that we've talked about insulation, we also wanna talk about proper airflow. These are rafter vents, and they allow air to enter and exit through the soffits in your eaves. Uh, they're easily installed by stapling them to the roof decking right before you actually install the insulation. Good. Now that we've got your attic squared away, we don't wanna forget about the basement. Gaps love to form where different building materials meet. General rule of thumb is if the gap is less than a quarter inch, then you can utilize caulk to fill it. And if it's larger than that, you can utilize a foam insulation spray like this product. Okay. And for insulating foundation walls from the inside, the rigid foam board is really gonna be your best option. It comes in different sizes, thicknesses, as well as R factors. So if you think about it, once you upgrade your insulation and check your windows and doors for air leaks, you should really see some noticeable differences in how comfortable your home is. And not to mention see your heating and air costs go down. Well, that's what I really want. Thank you so much. Absolutely. And thanks again for shopping at the Home Depot. You bet.